flying quadcopters for the past seven years and doing professional tuning for the last three to four years, I've learned a lot of things along the way. I have 11 presets in Betaflight with the latest release and more to come along the way. And they cover from whoops all the way up to 10 inch and cine lifters. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the basis of those presets because they're kind of standardized and how they're set up and also cover where you can provide some direct input and feedback to me on the presets to make them even better. So getting into Betaflight, we simply browse out to the presets tab and from here you can select the author. So you hit this drop down right here and browse down to the bottom and you can select UAV Tech Mark Spatz right there. Uh, you can select which firmware version you have. Uh, I have some presets in 4.3, but a lot more in 4.4, and I continue to expand upon that as the releases go in Betaflight. Now, with me being selected as the author, you will see all my tuning presets, but I also have presets here for DJI set up for their RC Link, uh, and also my rates that you can use, and then also some stuff from the OSD for analog setup, DJI set up for OSD, and then also uh, DJI with GPS. Now, I will be expanding these to be HD versions of these as well so you'll have the normal PAL setup and then also the HD setup so look for that here shortly but hopefully the biggest contribution is the tuning presets here so again like I covered before this goes from whoop to cine whoop to cine log and uh, we have micro class we have uh, cine lifter classes uh, in with that we also have five inch racing five inch freestyle with a GoPro five inch freestyle without a GoPro six seven inch ten inch quads here as well but clicking on one of these, you should see in all the tuning presets, you will now have a picture of the quadcopter class. So you can see this is kind of the quad type that this preset is made for. You can see here, uh, five inch with a, a GoPro mounted on there. And then if we look at this one, this is trying to show something without a GoPro and just gives you a general size and class. You're really also keying in here on the weight Obviously that has an impact. You can see, uh, you anticipate your quad will be lighter if you don't have a GoPro, uh, but really key in on the weight is probably more important than the picture itself. And uh, yeah, weigh your all up weight and then kind of choose accordingly. Browsing down through the preset, of course we have the description and then we do have some helpful linking videos if you don't know what some of this terminology is, like what is ESC PDBM frequency? So I have a video on that, low versus high. I do make a recommendation here on each one of what PDBM frequency I I would recommend uh, kind of talk on what the RPM filter is, RPM versus dynamic notch, things of that nature. So you can check out those videos if you want some additional bonus content. In the drop down, the first option we have here is a low, medium, or high quality build, and that really has to do with the amount of vibration. Don't take it personally, I just think that's the best way to kind of clarify the build, whether you have great build skills or not, depending on the equipment and how things are coming together. You know, if your quad has a lot of vibrations in it, then it's kind of a low quality build, even if your solder joints are amazing. Uh, even if your solder joints are garbage, but it can be still high quality build. We, even with some questionable gear, like a Martian frame uh, runs great with just moderate soldering and uh, it's kind of high quality. So uh, that's what this is keying into the amount of vibrations. Where I would definitely start on these is the default with the medium quality. They should all run okay with medium quality. And then if it doesn't, then I would then go ahead and try the low quality. Uh, you have to just check one of these here. So it would be the low, medium, or high. Don't If you check all three of them, you're gonna get the high one. Uh, and the other thing you need to do is figure out if you're gonna use RPM filter in addition to this. So if you do wanna do a low quality, but also have the RPM filter supported, go ahead and check both of those. So you can see here, choose one filter option plus RPM filter if desired. The next thing down here is the ESC PUM frequency. If you're following the recommendation, then you wouldn't need to change this. But but if you do, or you know, doing something different, say you want 48K and not uh, the 24K recommendation for this preset specifically, go ahead and change this here and that will adjust the tune accordingly. Final thing is if you want to have peak prop wash performance and you are set up to run bi-directional uh, D-Shot so the flight controller knows what the RPMs are of the motor, you can turn on the dynamic idle and that should increase your prop wash performance. You know, check that out if you haven't already. Of course, after you've made your selections here, just hit pick. Uh, there is a warning here that if you are using anything that's bi-directional G-Shot targeted like the RPM filter or the dynamic idle to make sure your ESC support uh, bi-directional D-Shot. After that, of course, just hit save and reboot.
All my presets are in the configurator by default, but if you ever want the latest and greatest, basically where I work on the presets or create the presets from scratch, you can always go up to preset sources right here and hit add new source. And I will drop the information down in the video description below where you can enter in here. Basically it's any name you want right here, the URL for my GitHub repo and then the branch names. Again, I'll drop those down in the video description. You can just paste them into here. If you have any questions or want to provide feedback on the presets, I truly appreciate good, bad, any questions you have, would be greatly appreciated you can head over to my discord again links down in the video description and in the preset will be links to the discord itself and in that discord uh there will be a uav tech presets form right here you can go ahead and make a new post for the preset and then you can tag uh in that new post uh the, the preset with his five inch whoop things of that nature and then uh, yeah i'll see it i appreciate that and again if you have any questions don't hesitate to go there pretty short and sweet thanks for your time everybody and i hope these help. Yeah.